Good morning. What if my interview is in the afternoon? It is morning. I, my interview is at 11. That's morning. Good morning. Thanks for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. Uh, I've been out of the job market for a little while. Um, I'm sort of in between careers. I was working and editing for a while and uh, things changed in the industry for me, and then I made a major move, and then I had some illness. So why am I telling you that? It's none of your business. No, I've just taken some time off. I've been working on some writing, and I just made a decision. I sort of missed that social interaction with the public, and it would be nice to have a job again, you know? <laughs> Pathetic. I can do this. Difficult customers are no different to any other customers. They just have some things in the way of their need. So I try to diffuse the problem when I can identify it and get to the heart of why they're in the shop. And what I probably do is I give them a bit more attention because I think that's part of the reason why they're there. If they were having a bad day and they didn't want to be there, they'd be at home, right? Uh, look, teamwork is, is incredibly important to me. I like to know when I'm on the job that I can identify what everybody's strengths are. And I look, everybody's not good at everything. So my thought is, if I'm struggling, I'm going to go to the person I know who can help our customer the best way possible, because that's why we're there. That's why we show up. And when I was seven, if you'd asked me this question, I'd have looked at you and thought, what world are you in? But now... At 49, I have the answers. I'm pathetic. Jesus Christ. I'm looking for anything between, say, 20 to 30 hours a week, if possible. Transportation's not a problem. Um, I'm more than happy to be available whenever I'm needed. That sounds desperate. Uh, I guess I am desperate. But I'm willing... <laughs> do I want to go back into retail after 20 years no I don't do I like retail no I don't but do I want this job you betcha <laughs> oh god Thanks for calling me. I really appreciate it. Uh, I haven't had a job like this before, no. But I've, I think I 
feel confident that I've done a lot of the tasks that I read in the job description um, for many years. So I've worked in bakeries and cafes. I ran, I was, um, I ran the dish room in food service for a couple of years. I worked in food service for four years and I was, um, I like the dish room. <laughs> so I'm not a stranger to a mop. <laughs> um, this looked really appealing to me. I, I'm looking for something that I can go work hard, enjoy being around my colleagues, and then at the end of the day, I get in my car and I just drive home and I forget about it until the next day. You know, I feel like that's a healthy approach to work anyway. You know, even if you're having a disagreement with someone at work for some reason, you know, it's not important. Resolve that conflict and move on. What's more important is that I can go home at the end of the day and I can feel that I'm not taking work home with me. I mean, I've had jobs like that. Oh, I, you know, I've had jobs where I've gone, I've been there 8, 10 hours, sometimes 12 hours a day. And I go to work. I turn my brain off for emotions, but as soon as I get out of the door and into the car, um, I get angry. And I go home and I'm angry and I'm stressed. And I get up the next day and I can't get up. And I drive to work and I'm crying. But as soon as I pull in, I just the mask comes down and I do my job and I work really hard and then I take that work home with me day after day and it takes several days of a vacation for me to feel like I'm over it. But this job, <laughs> cleaning rental cars, <laughs> I'm really going to say all that to them. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> no, I know this job feels like it's a little, um, I'm a little overqualified, but you know, I I don't I don't think that just doing a day's work is beneath anybody. I, I've certainly done my share, you know. Geez, I mean, I've probably had more unskilled labor jobs than I have had um, jobs that required me to use anything that I learned when I was at college. Um, I think that it doesn't really matter what you do. A job doesn't define you. I mean, I did hope that by this time <laughs> I would I would have achieved more than I have. That would have been nice. It must be interesting, you know. I suppose you find all kinds of stuff in the cars. Good stuff and bad. <laughs> that pool of vomit in the back seat. <laughs> God. <laughs> you could probably write a book. <laughs> oh, my word. Maybe I will write a book. All the things I found when I was cleaning rental cars. I really appreciate this opportunity. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.
oh, just busy day. Yeah, sorry, I'm not really dressed for an interview. I was just, um, just, yeah, I thanks so much. I just threw something on and <laughs> I ran over here. Um, yeah, you know, is I've had several. It's been really hard. I think maybe the job market's just, it must be really competitive right now, you know. Um, but I, look, I'm here. I really appreciate this chance. <sighs> no, I, I haven't done any motel cleaning before, but I've cleaned, you know, keep my house clean. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm a really hard worker. I can work mornings, afternoons, evenings, uh, you know, I understand you wouldn't be cleaning in the evenings, but, you know, just in case you needed anybody. Uh, you know, I'm 49 now, and it's, you know, work's not that easy to come by sometimes when you're an older person, uh, especially for jobs like this, like, I know I, I, yeah, I went to college. Um, I've, I've had some dreams fulfilled. Um, I'm not everywhere I'd like to be yet. That's for sure. Time's running out a little bit. Um, time's running out a little bit. It isn't kind of what you think it's going to be when you're 29. 30 years later, 20 years later, 10 years later, you sort of think, well, I would have got that done by now. But, you know, I think that um, I'd be a really good worker. I get along well with people and, um, I am prompt, you know, I really am. I'm usually on time. I uh, just, today was a little bit of a difference. I had a problem with my car, but I, it's fine. I can, I have transportation. That won't be an issue. And I can always take the bus, you know, make plenty of time beforehand and make sure I get there. I didn't think it was going to be this hard. You know, but okay, so I'm familiar with cleaning supplies, what you don't mix with what, cause a little bit of a problem. Uh, I can make beds, strip beds, do laundry, um, vacuum, clean surfaces. Of course, I am very, very respectful of people's privacy. You know, never, never invade anyone's privacy whatsoever because I know I wouldn't want that happening to me. So, certainly that's paramount. Uh, I know this area really well, so if visitors come, you know, if someone comes out of a room, they have a question, I can tell them great cafe, great restaurants, shopping, uh, where to catch the bus, where to catch the train, you know, I can help them with all those things. I feel really confident about that. I feel really confident about that. I really look forward to hearing from you.